Adobe Colour is a tool that I use to help me find what colours that I like in a particular piece of art, a photo, or even a painting, for example, from Monet. And Adobe Colour is forms part of your Photoshop subscription because you do have to have an account to access this tool. And it's a great tool to see what colours are in an image. For example, I've put this image in, or one of my art pieces, and this is Matilda, and you'll see that there's circles that are dotted around on the piece of art, and I'm just going to click, hold and drag and move these circles around randomly to see what colours are coming up as I move them around. And I'll just move this one down just onto the skin tone. Now, as soon as I've moved those circles around, you'll see that the colours are showing there in the theme underneath. Well, let's move one and have a look. The first one on the left-hand side changes as I move that circle around. Now, why would I do that? Is that basically I'm looking for colours that I like, but more importantly, I'm looking for the hex code or a colour code. It's like the formula that says this is the colour and these are the numbers that you need to get that same shade of colour. So let's come up here and move this one and let's just come over and you'll see again it changes. Now let's say that's a bit light. I'll move that over here onto the blue and I can move these around randomly. But over on the left hand side, actually what I'm seeing is a color mood. Colorful, bright, muted, deep, dark, or just none. Let's go into muted and you'll see that the colors have changed. But the circles have moved around now. I don't like the colors that Adobe Color has selected, so I'm just going to move those circles around a little bit. And we'll just put that around. Again, you can see that they change. If I go to, let's say, bright, let's have a look. It starts to pick up some of the bright colours. You can see that one there. I'll just move that over to the flower. You can see it changes, but it's gone over there. And I'll just position these a little bit. Now, on the top right-hand side is actually where I get those colours reflected. Now, when I first used Adobe Colour, my mind was thinking that, okay, I'm going to use this and this gives me what I call or what I thought was a preset, but it doesn't work that way. So what it does individually is put the colour into your Photoshop colour swatches or your library if you choose that. For example, I may like, uh, like this shade here um, and I would copy the hex code and I can come to the two squares and I'll click on that and it will say it's copied it to the clipboard. Now, when I go over to Photoshop, I can actually use that color or that hex code to get that particular color. So I'm just going to, let's choose a yellow and let's go over to Photoshop and actually see how you would use your hex code into Photoshop. I'm in Photoshop now and what I want to do is put that colour or that hex code and use it to brush in some colour into the foreground and that's why I chose that particular yellow colour. Now to put that hex code in I'm going to make sure I've got my brush selected and I'm going to come onto the foreground and I'll do one click and I get my colour picker. Now if you look here you can see this is where a hex code is and I'm going to paste that hex code in that I copied from Adobe Color and I've now got that color in my hex and I'm going to click on OK. Now for example I might want to just brush some subtle color into this foreground because it just needs a little bit more of a pop with color and I can do it very subtly. So the thing that I'll do is make sure I've got my opacity down low, but I'll just turn it up high and I'll brush it. You can see there's the colour. Let's undo that and drop it down to about ooh, even a 5% because all I want to do is add this colour subtly. So I'll just brush and dab 
It's all I do. You can hear my mouse just click and dab and I'm brushing that colour in. If I turn that layer off, you can see that's without the colour and that's with the colour. Now I've made it a little bit strong. It doesn't look realistic, but it's to give you the concept of using colour and brushing colour in to certain areas just to shift your eye around that image. Now if I come over and get to my swatches, and I've got them over here on the left-hand side. If you don't see your swatches, you'll need to go up to Window and then click on Swatches and that will turn that on. Then I'll come to Swatches and you can see there's the colour now put into my swatch colour and I can use that whenever I want to. It's a particular nice warm colour that I may use. You'll see that there are some colours here that are my favourites and I will use them in to brush into some of my artwork. Let's go back to Adobe Colour and let's actually see what else can we do with it. I'm back in Adobe Colour now and let's say I want to use another image to see what colours are in that one. All I need to do is go up to Replace Image and then go to the folder where your particular photo art is. Let's bring in Ronan and bring him in and let's see what colours make up his image. Now the circles are there, I'm going to drag them around. Let's have a look, I'll bring it right into that dark colour there of the coat. Might come up to the beanie. I might come down into the boots and see what colour and I can move that around. Now I can also extract the colours to make a gradient and I use gradients quite often uh, particularly when I'm doing composite images and I think of a gradient that just sort of gives a bit of a colour wash um, blending over and uh, that's one of the techniques that I'll use but in Adobe Colour I'll go and click on Extract Gradient and what it actually does is gives me three stops or three colours. You can see here gradient stop three. If I push that up to let's go five, roughly around about there, it then selects five colours. Now a gradient goes from light to a little bit darker, a bit more darker and to dark depending on how many gradient stops that you use. So I'm going to keep it simple and just go down to three and I may not like that dark colour, I might want to come more into that light. I can play with this along the line. This is experimenting and I know when I first started, you know, creating gradients, it was a little bit of a mess, but I just played until I got the colours that I could work with. Now you'll see that the gradient's up there and what I can do is I can save that to a particular folder in libraries or it goes to your gradient panel and uh, it will then can be used as a gradient to put over your images. Adobe Colour is, is a really good little tool to work with. It's not the end all and be all in my colour grading but I know that I can look at an image and go, I like that colour, that's something that I may use a little bit more in when I'm working with or creating art. 